Hi again, here we are to continue our weather app in Xcode 7. And in the last video, you can see I made a, you know, an alert dialog box that opens up with an OK and a cancel button. And here's my, here's my app, and when I tap this button here, you can see it pops up and it says, you know, enter city name, and it's got cancel and OK. And really what we need here is we need a little um, input field that will allow you to enter your city name, right? Because right now it asks you for the city name, but you can't put it in, right? So let's fix that. So what we're going to do is every alert um, controller, as long as it's type alert, it doesn't work with the action sheet, okay? So every alert controller can have a, um, a text field where you can enter something, enter some text, right? So what we're going to do is, um, and you can see I added some comments here. So I, I, you know, I mentioned that this is the alert controller. We created it here, and then we created the, um, the cancel action, and then we added the cancel action, and then we created an OK action, and then we added that OK action, and then our last step was to present the alert controller. So before we present the alert controller, let's add a text field to it. Okay, so we'll do that here. So maybe we'll make a comment here, add text field, right? Okay. And to add a text field, we'll say alert dot add, and then you can start typing add text. And you'll get an option here that says add text field with configuration handler. Okay. And when you get that one, hit return. And what this does is it adds a text field to the alert. Okay, and so the alert box knows how to add the text field. The thing it doesn't know is it doesn't know how you want the text field configured. So what they do is they give you this handler here that is just a function where it, you know, the alert box passes the text field that it's going to use into this handler and allows you to set options on it before it, it displays it, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, select this option here and this if you look carefully at it it's um, configuration handler is a function that receives a UI text field as a parameter and returns void and it's an optional function so you don't have to include it if you're not going to use it um, I want to use it because I want to configure the text field and set some options on it before we display it so what we'll do is make sure this thing is selected here and then hit return and then Xcode will type the, the funky syntax here for these closures, right? So now we're all set. And what we need to do is we still need to fill in the code and the text field. So this text field here, we can hit return, and it'll type in UI text field. And that's just telling us that this should be type UI text field. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in text field colon here. And then that'll make it very clear that we're receiving a variable called text field and it should be type UI text field. Okay, and then we're going to return void. And then in says that we're going to put our code here, right? So we say in this code block. So uh, I'll click on code here and then we can delete that. And what we'll do is we'll say text field dot placeholder, right? And the placeholder text is that little grayed out text you see to kind of hint you at what you should type in the text field. So I'll say text field dot placeholder equals, and then I will say city name. How about that? Right? And there we've configured our text field. So we added it, and, and that's actually all we need to do to add the text field. Okay? And we can test that. And so I'll build my project, test it in the simulator. And uh, if I, let me scale this up a little bit, right? So that's what it looks like at full size. And if I tap on set city, <coughs> the dialog box pops up and you can see it says city name in the middle there, right? And that's the placeholder text. And this is the, t the, the input box, right? So if I type in San Francisco and hit okay, then we're done, right? Okay, so, so that's working pretty good. What we need to do now is we need to be able to get the name of the city that you entered into this text field, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm going to go back to this OK action because this is where we want to get the name of the city. And the, the action here at the end, this 
function that was added to the OK action. This is what gets triggered when you tap the OK button, okay? And so what we want to do is in here, we want to get the city name from the alert, okay? So this text field belongs to the alert um, controller, okay? So right now we're just printing OK, but why don't we try and print the city name into the console and then that'll show that it's working, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to make a variable here. We'll say let text field equal, uh, and then what we'll do is we'll say alert, <coughs> which is this variable here, which is our, you know, UI alert controller, and then we'll say dot text field and the dot text fields property, if we, you know, option click it here, you can see that it says text fields is an array. You can see it's an array because it has the square brackets around the name. And it's an array of text fields and it's an optional array. So what we want to do is we want to say um, let text field equal text field zero. I know that looks a little weird. So what we want to do is we want to get to the first text field in the array. Okay, so we've got an array of text fields and we want the very first one. And, you know, we only created one down here anyway, so this has to be the first one, right? Um, and then what is that saying there? Oh, I guess that went away there, right? So, uh, yeah, it's probably, this warning's probably just telling me that, you know, um, you know, you've used a variable, but you haven't, you've created a variable, but you haven't used it, right? So that's okay, we're going to use it down here, right? And that'll make it happy. So, so anyway, so there's our text field, and if we want to print the value in the text field, we can say print, wish this error message would go away there, right? We'll say text field um, dot text, okay? And so uh, we'll print the value that you typed into the text field into the, um, the console, okay? So, uh, so there we go, so that's working pretty good, and then we'll... Uh, We'll click the play button to build and test our project in the simulator. And there's our project. I'll click the set city button and the, uh, the city name pops up here and I'll type in San Francisco and click OK. And, um, and then you can see down here it says OK, and it says optional San Francisco, right? So there's our, there's our city name. Now it says optional because the, um, the text field returns optional text, right? So if I, if I option click on this, you can see it says it returns an optional string, right? So if we want to unwrap that, we could use the exclamation point or we could test for it with if let, okay? So, uh, but we'll, we'll handle that later. So we'll put this here for now, right? And I think that's pretty good, right? So now our next step is to actually, you know, set up our app so it can handle the weather. Right now we've got the UI working and, you know, we can enter the text field, you know, enter the city name, open the dialog box. Um, we've got our UI labels. So when we get the information, we can print the, the temperature and the description and the city name, right? Um, and then that should be pretty good. Um, actually, you know, here just for fun, if we want to print the city name into our city label, we could do that over here. You know, we've got our OK action. We're getting the text field and we've got the text here. I put the text into the console, but you could also put the text into the city label. So we could say a city label dot text equals text field dot text and then we could unwrap it with the exclamation point actually wait doesn't need that there well I guess I got to use self my mistake right um, since we're in a closure we have to prefix our variables with self right so there we go and uh, then we could test that with the um, with the play button there And then I'll say set city, and I'll say uh, Dublin, and then click OK, and then it says Dublin, right? So that's kind of working. Okay, so there we go. That's pretty good for now.